Hello family, welcome to my channel. We are going to discuss about who and how the Gosi ancestors worshipped and several different African nations worshipped in different ways and different names of the Supreme Being. Grand Rising, Grand Rising. It's a beautiful brand new day. Today, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. So today, I just decided to come out here in nature. I came out here at 5.30. You know, here, it's summertime. So the sun, like, brightness comes out by 5. So it was not very late. I came at 5.30. To just stay in nature, pray in my mother tongue to Engoro, the god of my ancestors. You know, the modern people from my community, they pray to Nyasai, of which Nyasai was the god of the Luo people, which is not a problem, you know, for them to do that. But I'm just gonna go back to my roots, you know, because I have done uh, research and the name that we used for our God is Engoro. And since we've been praying to, number one, we've been praying to a different God in the African, uh, uh, after the Bible was translated, they changed the name of the Gusi God from Engoro to Nyasai. Uh, so we've been praying to a different God in that perspective and again the photos that we have been given in africa of god uh is white you know and me i know that i'm created in the image and the likeness of my god and so my god is black since i'm black so combining those two i decided to pray to engoro always just that I haven't done the prayers in nature. So today was a very special time <coughs> that um, I have come out here very early before sunrise, before the grand rising, so I can commune with uh, Engoro, the creator of my goosey ancestors. So guys, look here. You know, cleaning, cleanliness is second to godliness. So, since they are cleaning the park, I'm gonna take a walk uh, outside. Probably give them time before I come back here. So, I have been seeing, like, I think it was in 2000 and uh, it was in 2000 and. Uh, 19 when i started having this spiritual awakening and this message is not for everybody because <laughs> those people who are still christians they were told that african gods are not real gods so they are not true gods so if you are you're a christian and you feel that this message does not resonate with you it's okay just don't bother yourself um yeah so this is one for the ones that have been awakened as well to be able to recognize our african gods or our african creators because there's no way what was done to us can be done by people who are created by the same gods as us it's not possible because I know most of you have not researched your history to know how bad slavery and colonization was. Even now, how bad neo-colonization is. Because, guys, <laughs> in Africa, people are waiting to go to heaven to walk streets of gold. But in the Western world, in America, in Europe, 
people are literally walking in the streets that they have created for themselves. You know, you see, they say cleanliness is second to godliness. Even just waste management in these countries is something different. You know, you see, they sweep their streets. They dispose their garbage in an orderly manner. Something that we don't do. And some things like used clothes that they no longer need. They have some place, I'll show you another time, it's not near here, that they will go and put them. Then those clothes are shaped to Africa as, as second-hand clothes. Is there another way of disposal? Which is okay, but it's not good for me because it doesn't all go well with me because it kills the creativity. You know, here we don't have tailors, like, there are not many, very, very few. There are not, like, if your clothes get spoiled, you just dispose it. You cannot take it for repair. The only tailors that are here are the ones that make new clothes. So imagine we are the growers of the cotton, but we have to import it here. They come and make the first hand clothes. And then after they are done with them, they will put them in a garbage, sort them and bring them to us. Yet we are the owners of the cotton. So it's not really fair. It's not really fair. We deserve the best as well. We deserve to have first hand. So, 2019, when Corona came, I had very serious visions. I had uh, an awakening. I was in the US at the time. I decided to return back to Africa. I stayed in Africa for two years until the Corona ended. Is when I decided to travel again. But I didn't really want to travel. I had uh, wanted to stay in Africa and do farming, but my projects did not work out. So I decided to leave, try and plan myself better. And my ultimate goal, by the grace of Engoro, is to own a farm in Africa, you know? So it has been an amazing time today. Spending it in nature, conversing with Engoro in my language. I feel good, I feel energized, I feel motivated. It is not easy in a new country trying to settle. It is very really tough. But Engoro has been gracious to me. I came here not knowing anybody, like I knew maybe two or three people and I was even given some referral numbers of some Kenyans who are in Italy, but when I got here, <laughs> they refused to pick my call. So it's been very, very hard, but this far, Engoro has been with me, taking care of me, given me family and friends out of strangers and yeah it's just been amazing so look at that beautiful I know my camera is not doing justice but there's a very very beautiful sunrise very beautiful sun oh my god i'll be coming out more wow it is so beautiful orange oh my goodness look at that guys can you see i don't know how i'll put my camera so you can see very very beautiful sunrise it's amazing so Wow, these are precious gifts. Ha! Ah, the sun is just so 
amazing I, I am grateful that I made it to come out today I will also be coming out more so uh, it's uh what time is it it's now 15 minutes past six but the sun is already here grand rising martin how are you doing how's uganda we are very proud of your president by the way because he's kind of joining the revolution <laughs> and doing his best to stop our people from the continuous mental slavery and brainwash so he cannot be a perfect human being to do everything right but at least on that part he has tried yeah so it's now the revolution is here it's happening it's huge it's grand the first time i went on facebook and posted that i have a dream for a united africa somebody criticized me and said that it's not gonna happen and at that time i was only talking because i had serious vision you know the way you can have a vision and then you wake up in the morning and it seems like so real like you're like no this was not a dream it's like this thing really happened so that's what happened to me i was just hearing this voice telling me united states of africa i was like what <laughs> No, that time I had just gotten to US. I had stayed for like three years because I went there in 2016. And all I wanted to do is make money and just be rich and do everything else that people go who go to America do. But then I started having these visions and, and hearing voices about Africa. I was like, no, <laughs> that was never my intention. I was never this passionate about, passionate about Africa. It just started happening in my dreams, in my visions. And so since the thing persisted, I decided to pay attention. I had never met any other person online or otherwise who was talking about the same thing. Even our own presidents in Africa by then, they were not talking about the same thing. I think uh, because uh, the scriptures are written because you know some of those scriptures were copied from african ancient scriptures that because we abandoned praying to our original gods or rather our original creators we were given out into slavery for 400 years so if you count the years since the first ship came to africa to take away slaves it has been 400 years and the founded years ended in 2020. So it was just something spiritual that was happening. And the 400 years of slavery were coming to an end. That is why even some of our presidents now have started to speak up. It's not that the, it is the president that we should be praising. No, we should be praising our African gods for talking to those presidents. So, and again, as ourselves, we have to raise our consciousness. We have to remove the mind of being uh, always the, the wretched of the earth. And know that our ancestors were real kings and queens. We had various several kingdoms in Africa. They wore gold. They sat on golden stools they were great people you know so uh, it is just a, a spiritual revolution that is going on and if you are still a christian and you the revolution has not reached you don't focus on criticizing those of us that it has reached to because you have no idea the kind of dreams we get the kind of visions we get the kind of awakening we get it is a very intense experience so if you haven't experienced it it's okay just keep living your life we are not condemning you and don't condemn us you know when your time comes you will be awakened if you are supposed to be awakened otherwise not everybody is supposed to be awakened 
other people will sadly be lost with the mental slavery. So, Oboko Eric, Grand Rising. So that is how it is. Uh, try to get out if you are awakened. Try to get out before sunrise and just witness the amazingness of Ra. The amazingness of Ra as the day breaks, the magic of being in nature with the birds, the butterflies, the stars, the moon. Actually here they are not in the sky at night. You rarely see moon and stars together. But in Africa there's an amazing magical view at night as well. So try and spend more time in nature. Try and pray in your own language. Because as I told you yesterday, those who are able to see the post that I made is that these foreign languages that we learnt, they do have some of the words as spell casting. So for us to be able to connect more, better and stronger to our roots and to our gods, we need to speak to them in a language that they gave to us. And meditate. Meditation is very, very, very powerful, guys. Meditation is very powerful. I know some Christian churches discourage people from meditation because they know once you meditate, you will discover how powerful you are from inside out. So, to be able to discover your power, please try and do meditation. If you check on Google, not Google, if you check on YouTube, we have guided meditations. And you can do meditation according to how you're feeling. Maybe you're feeling stressed. Uh, you can go and search for guided meditation for peace. With time, once you get used to it, then you can be able to do it on your own. If maybe you're broke, you can actually do meditation to attract financial abundance. If you want to travel, you can actually do meditation for the same. So guys, that's just it. Um, otherwise, I've had a beautiful morning. I've been able to... I've been able to experience Ra rising. And it's just awesome. It's just awesome. Yeah, so I want to send you darkness if you need it to grow because me, I went through hell to be able to grow. So darkness is not a bad thing. Seeds grow in darkness, babies grow in darkness. So many things happen in darkness. So it was a slave mentality for us to think darkness in black is bad, but it's not. So, if you need darkness, I send it to you. If you need the lights, so that you can be able to come out of your growth, just as the seed comes out, I want to send the light energy to you. And positive energies to just conquer this day, you know. Life is what you make it. Not what happens to you. Whatever happens to you is 10%. But how you react to it, contributes 90% of your life. So thank you so much. <laughs> when I started fasting in America, I was just alone. Uh, I used to have an audience from Kenya mostly that never supported or maybe never used to uh, uh, identify with what I was talking about. So I closed that account and I started a new account on these accounts, I have many supporters from Uganda, Nigeria, African Americans. Uh, some Kenyans are now starting to see and hear the truth about us and our history. Uh, I actually have some white friends. 
and they support what I do and I say because I'm not against white people I'm just for black people the difference is that I just want to impress ourselves impress our roots impress our hair impress our dressing impress our gods impress our languages that's just it so I'm not against anybody so they understand that and they support me so we are at 8.8 .8, like 8,800 people and that's not a small number for just a one-year account guys you're doing amazing I'm so happy I'm so grateful for all your support I'm so encouraged and motivated by all your comments your likes your views everything I really do appreciate you so thank you guys let's just walk this journey one day at a time and I believe that one day one final day Africa will be great again yes righty so thank you Martin thank you Aboko for joining me and everybody else who's going to watch after the live just know that you are loved and appreciated keep being yourself there's no other person on this planet earth who's going to be like you you are unique you're special and don't allow anybody to tell you otherwise so meditation prayer to our african gods in our own languages and just having uh time taking time to be in nature those are the basic basic things that will lead us back home and it's beautiful on this other side guys this other side of freedom it is so beautiful it is so liberating <coughs> excuse me so Ciao, I appreciate you. Have a beautiful day. Bye. A few moments later. Haha, <laughs> family, so this is me here just on the swing, having a little fun before I head back to the house. Thanks so much for watching. Kindly remember to subscribe, like, share. Thank you. See you again later. Bye.